in. Hello, Santa Paula. Welcome. How about that Isabel Choir? We have a gentleman here who's going to sing the national anthem for us with Miss Nelson. So if you guys would like to join in, please do so. Please welcome Hector, go over there, <laughs> Hector Sanchez. Let's hear it for Hector. here this is wonderful that we've all turned out to help stop bullying and I invite you to go around and look at all the wonderful artwork the children from Olive Land, Mupu and Boys and Girls Club have done. This is our second annual set of hands across Santa Paula and it really is good that we've got more people than we had last year. We've got more children than we had last year. <laughs> Kindness is a word that benefits us all, and it's a word that starts us to think about how to treat others and to think about how we want to be treated. Last year, children from K through 6 made 600 wishes. About 75% of those wishes involved someone, please stop the bullying. So that kind of bothered me a little, but our police department started working really closely with the elementary school district last year on policies and programs that centered on preventing bullies. Bullies are in every walk of life, in every age, in every profession, and in the animal world. I think children, seniors, and animals seem to get the worst of the bullies, or anyone with disabilities. But we're so blessed here in this city because we have so many people that really do care about what happens to all of us. I believe the citizens in Santa Paula have the most dedicated, emergency, educational, and medical personnel of any city. We also, they have to often respond to the end result of what bullies have done. We also have some of the most valuable volunteers in the city because there's so many caring, giving volunteers per square foot in this city. And I can look around and see a lot of them, like our citizen patrol folks, our explorers, like folks from ARC people that help with the school. So it's really great to see all of you caring today. Uh, we're blessed to have some great guests, Donna Nelson and the Isabel Choir. Let's hear it again for them. <laughs> McGruff is roaming around here somewhere from Santa Paula Police Department. Can we tell McGruff hello? And we have a couple of our Santa Paula police officers, Dave Kern and Sergeant Jimmy Fagata. I know y'all don't know them very well. And then we got Martha Brown and Richard 
from Citizen Patrol and the kids from Explorers again. So I'm backing up on myself. Y'all pardon me, I've been in the sun a little bit long today. <laughs> so our next guest speaker is a gentleman who works very hard every day in all the districts trying to help keep our children safe and do good things for him. So please let me welcome Dr. Paul Cheney, the superintendent of the elementary school. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon and welcome. I, I want to thank everybody for being here today at the second annual Hands Across Santa Paula Kindness event. I particularly want to thank uh, Beverly Frady for organizing uh, such an important and timely gathering. I cannot think of a more appropriate thing from our community than promoting kindness. I also want to thank uh, City Councilman Fred Robinson for being here the police officers, and of course, the crime-fighting dog, McGruff. Today I want to talk a little bit about bullying and what we can do, both as adults and children, to end the cycle. Recent statistics indicate that one out of every three children in the United States reports being frequently bullied. What is more alarming is that every day in the United States, approximately 160,000 students stay home from school due to bullying. Much harassment in schools is directed toward those students who the bully feels is different from them. Rather than viewing differences as desirable, we should not desirable, we should view differences as strengths for our school and communities. The fact is, bullies do serious damage to the lives of others. Nasty notes, emails, shoving, punching, excluding, gossiping, can really mess up a child's future. Victims of bullying are more likely to skip school, smoke, drink alcohol, and drop out of school, and they are two times more likely to hurt themselves. Mark Twain once said that kindness is the language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. What does this mean? It means that kindness has no barriers. It can be practiced anytime, anywhere. So today, whether you're an adult or a child, I'm going to ask you to be more than a bystander, that you take action and practice kindness. So what does it mean to be more than a bystander? Every day students witness bullying. They want to help, but most of them do not know how. I'm going to give you a few simple ways that children can help stop bullying when they see it happen. These are ways that children can be more than a bystander. And this is primarily for the children, but it's really supposed to be reinforced by the adults. So be a friend of the person that's being bullied. Children can help someone who's being bullied by simply being nice to them at another time. Being friendly and kind can go a long way towards letting them know that they're not alone. A bystander can help by spending time with the person being bullied at school. Simple kindness gestures like talking to them, sitting with them at lunch, or inviting them to play sports or other games during physical education or recess can really help. Children need to listen to the person being bullied. Let them talk about the event. They can call the person being bullied at home to provide support, encourage and give them advice. Bystanders can try sending a note or a positive text message or going to the person that was bullied later. They can let the person know that what has happened is not cool, that they are there for them. A bystander can help by telling the person being bullied that they do not like bullying and ask them if they can do anything to help. Bystanders can also help the person being bullied to talk to a trusted adult. So one of the most important steps when you're being bullied at school or anywhere in the community is tell a trusted adult like a family member, a pastor, a teacher, or a coach. An adult can help stop bullying by intervene, intervening while it's in progress, stopping it from occurring or even giving the person being bullied a shoulder to lean on. Bystanders can tell a trusted adult in person or leave them a note. It can be anonymous. 
If bullying is occurring, bystanders can go find or ask a friend to find a trusted adult as soon as possible. Perhaps they can stop it from happening or continuing. Remind children who witness bullying not to dis dis not get discouraged if they have already talked to an adult that nothing has happened. They can ask a family member if they will help and make sure an adult knows if it's repeated behavior by another child. Try talking to as many adults as possible. Teachers, counselors, custodians, nurses, parents. The more adults they involve, the better. This is really a community uh, problem and it has a community solution. Many times when kids are being bullied, other children or students can help them get away from a situation. There are a few simple, safe ways children can help a person get bullied away from the situation. However, if they do it, make sure the children know not to put themselves in danger. Create a distraction. That always works. If no one is rewarding the child who is bullying by paying attention, the behavior may stop. Bystanders can help focus attention somewhere else. A bystander can offer a way for the person being bullied to leave the scene by like saying something like, Mr. Perez needs to see you in the office. Or come on, we need to start a game. Remind children only to intervene if it feels safe to do so and never use violence in order to help the person get away. More importantly, set a good example and do not bully others. If a child knows not to bully others, then the other students will follow examples. To help even more, children can actively participate in anti-bullying activities, uh, activities and projects such as what we're doing here today. Make sure children do not bully others and don't encourage bullying behavior. Encourage them to look for opportunities to contribute to the anti-bullying culture in their school through school clubs and organizations. Lastly, for children, don't give the bully an audience. If one of your friends or peers begins to bully someone, then encourage the behavior by discourage the behavior by not giving it an audience. Instead of laughing or supporting, you can use let the bully know that his or her behavior is not entertaining. Often those who bully encourage are encouraged by attention that they receive from bystanders. Children can help stop bullying by actively not supporting it. Remind children that when they see bullying, they can act disinterested or blatantly state that they do not think that bullying is entertaining or funny. Children can help by keeping their distance from the situation. If they ignore it, it may stop. If the bullying doesn't stop, the bystander should follow other tips like telling a trusted adult. One of the most effective ways to stop bullying, which is particularly important for adults, is model how we treat others with kindness and respect. Children learn from adults' actions. By treating others with kindness and respect, adults show the children in their lives that there is no place for bullying. Even if it seems like they're not paying attention, children are watching how adults manage and how, how adults manage stress and conflict, as well as how they treat their friends, colleagues, and families. Adults can also work in the community to prevent bullying. Bullying can be prevented, especially with the power of the community, is brought together like events today. Community-wide strategies can help identify and support children who are bullied, redirect the behavior of children who bully, and change the attitudes of adults and youth who tolerate bullying behaviors in peer groups, schools, and communities. So the benefits of working together, bullying doesn't happen only at school. Community members can use their unique strengths and skills to prevent bullying wherever it occurs. For example, in youth sports groups can, may train coaches to prevent bullying. Local businesses can make t-shirts with bullying prevention slogans. Aftercare school staff can read books about bullying to kids and discuss them and hearing anti-bullying messages from the different adults in their lives can reinforce the message that kids that bully are unacceptable. So what are we doing here in Santa Paula schools? Here in Santa Paula, we have implemented the OVEAS program. The OVEAS program's goals are to reduce and prevent bullying problems among school children 
and improve peer relations in schools and reduce related antisocial behaviors such as vandalism and truancy. I encourage parents to go to their schools and find out more about the OVAS program and what they can do to help end bullying in our schools. Lastly, I want to note that October is National Bullying Prevention Month and we'll be having events going on at the schools. So get involved, be more than a bystander, and, pri and practice kindness. Again, I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak here today at this important event. Thank you. Okay, our next guest speaker is a gentleman that's kind of like everybody's sweetheart in Santa Paula. He used to be the mayor one time, and I'm just really tickled that he's here today because he's always my biggest supporter. Please welcome Mr. Fred Robinson. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Uh, Beverly Frady always acts of kindness. I want to thank her for organizing this event, our second year. Very nice turnout. And Beverly is always performing acts of kindness. Did you notice a gentleman over here that couldn't get some water? And so she very kindly took him some fresh water. Always acts of kindness. Uh, I want to thank our uh, public safety officials. They demonstrate acts of kindness as they strive and work to make uh, Santa Paula a safe community, a good place to raise your families. Our police officers, our firefighters, our explorers, people that work in uh, Citizens uh, Patrol. They're at every event. A lot of these folks were looking, working all day yesterday at moonlight, well into the night, and here they are out here today. On behalf of the city of Santa Paula, I thank you for being here today. That you are here is a testament uh, that you believe in acts of kindness and are a champion to stop the bullying. You could be home uh, relaxing, uh, having a cool drink, watching a game, or perhaps off to the beach where I'm sure it's cool and comfortable, but you chose to be here, and that is an act of uh, kindness. I see acts of kindness uh, every day around Santa Paula that you folks uh, perform. Um, pull off at 10th Street, there's always a line of cars. I see people waving folks on so that they can turn. And when people are driving down Main Street and somebody's backing out and you can't see very well, people will stop and let the folks get out. You do that every day, all day long. When you see somebody in a uh, wheelchair pushing a stroller, you give them space and time to cross the street or get into their vehicle. So, thank you for being here today. It's a beautiful day, a beautiful city. On behalf of the city of Santa Paula, we thank you for your acts of kindness every day. Thank you, Mr. Robinson. Any everybody's sweetheart in this town? Our next guest speaker. I have to tell you a little story about this fellow, and you'll probably recognize who he is in a minute. I love our canines. And a fellow told me a few years back that they needed volunteers down at the police department. And I said, well, if I do this, can I play with canines? He said, oh yeah. While I love them all, Evan's still my favorite. Even though he's retired now, he's still my secret love. And this fellow that told me all this stuff, he should have really been a politician because he can convince you to volunteer for anything. I mean anything. He's even had me, of all people, directing traffic at different times. But it was okay. I knew they'd pick me up if the cars got me, right? So it's my pleasure and my honor to introduce our next guest, my friend and everyone's friend in Santa Paula. He takes folks Gatorade and soup when they're sick. He cheers them up when they're down, plays his old E8 tracks, and tells wonderful stories. Please welcome Jimmy Fagot. Good afternoon, everybody. What a, what a beautiful day. I don't know if this breeze is a good thing or a bad thing. It's kind of bringing the heat down a little bit, but what a, what a great day to hear. And I want to thank everybody here on behalf of Chief Cadero who couldn't be here today, and also the Santa Paula Police Department um, 
by you showing up today starts the commitment to, to stop bullying in Santa Paula and anywhere. And one of the things I can say to the parents is, parents, stay, stay active with your children. You know, bullying isn't just physical, it's verbal, it's cyber, text messaging, all the different things. Stay active in what they do because if you see changes, you've got to find this stuff out. And for all you kids, don't be victims. It's time for you guys, it's after today, it's time for you guys to be leaders and make sure that bullies don't have to happen. I mean, report it to your parents, report it to your teacher, report it to the police department. We need to stop bullying. It's, uh, how many people here, even the adults, everybody, how many people have been bullied here as a kid? So it's, it's been going on for a long time, but it's, now it's the time to stop. There's a lot of resources out there. And again, don't, build, don't feel like you're the bad guy tattletaying on somebody, but why should you let, you let somebody wreck your day? Let's make their, let's wreck their day and get them, teach them and educate them so they can't be a bully. So I want to thank you guys. If the Santa Paula Police Department can help you in any way with information, anything, please come to our, our front lobby there and we'll assist you in getting any paperwork or information you need or helping you with a situation. That's what we're here for. I want to thank you all for coming out today. And want to give a big round of applause for Samantha. She's done a great job. She's done this on her own and, and uh, a personal expense and time. And she's done a great job. And again, thank you for all showing up today. Well, see, I'm lucky. I have a lot of backup. And before we go any further, I would like to thank the Lassenbeck family for all their donations, Carol Wood's family, all the guys from the police department, because they always make me look good, and the fire department, because everyone that's here today is here because of all the donations, fire, police, and some professionals in town made so we can rent the park, get gifts, and all this thing. So, I love these guys. They're always good to me. They're always good to you. And I'd like again for everyone to know we're the luckiest city in California as far as I'm concerned for emergency personnel. So let's hear it for Fire and PD, guys. Okay, our next guest is from the Santa Paula Animal Rescue Center. Does everyone know about our new rescue center? It's a no kill. Let me hear it for no kill. Okay, our next guest is Stephanie Reyes, and she brought with her today Black Beauty, who's a rescue, so they're coming this way. Stephanie, where are you? <laughs> She's behind me? Okay. Please welcome Stephanie and Black Beauty. And she's going to stay over there. So, uh... Hi. Um, well, I'm Stephanie Reyes. I'm from the Santa Paula Animal Rescue Center. Um, thank you guys for actually including us in this big event. It's an honor to be here. Um, just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about our shelter. We're the first no-kill shelter in, San, in Ventura County. And, oh, here's Black Beauty. She's actually right here. She's available for adoption. She's about a year old. And she's very, very playful, as you guys can see. So, so we are the first no-kill shelter in Ventura County, and we actually do help all types of animals. We've had iguanas, hamsters, cats, dogs, um, birds, ducks. We've had everything come through our doors, and we will help any animal with an illness, any animals that's malnourished, um, abandoned, or abused. We don't turn any animals away. <laughs> we have um, tons of animals, actually, um, different kinds of animals at our shelter. We have anything from chihuahuas to pit bulls, as you can see. We've had huskies, German shepherds, we've had different types of cats, and we've had poodles, we've had, you name it, we've probably had it there. And if you guys can't find an, if you guys come visit our shelter and you guys can't find an animal now, trust me, in a week, if you come back, we will most definitely have the animal that you're looking for. Um, we've only been open since about June 1st, and in that time, we've actually rehomed and returned about 100 animals or more to, pre to previous owners that have lost their animals and to new and loving forever homes. Um, um, right now, we've got probably about 30 to 40 available cats and dogs. So if you guys want to come and take a look at our shelter, we're actually located um, here in Santa Paula. 
on the corner of 7th and Santa Barbara. We're right across the street from the Moose Lodge. And our address is 705 East Santa Barbara Street for all any of you guys that don't know where that quite might be. Um, our hours are also from set from 12 to 6, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And we're open on the weekends also from 11 to 6. So we're there pretty much every day. The only days we are closed is Monday and Wednesday, but even then we're still there caring for the animals and making sure that they've got all the care and commitment that they need and that they deserve. So, thank you. Thank you, Beauty. Everybody take a good look at Beauty now. She might want to come live with you. Okay. At this time, I'd like to introduce our former mayor, Mary Ann Krause, who's judging the artwork. And there's going to be some gifts after we find out who it is and all of this stuff. We're not going to announce that just yet. Did everyone here get a raffle ticket? Because we're raffling off six Circus Vargas tickets. Did, has everybody got a raffle ticket? You didn't or you did? You did, okay. For anyone that doesn't have one, come up and get one now. Everybody's got them? Okay. Mr. Allen and his friend who are doing the filming tells me that this will be available on K-A-D-Y TV internet by no later than in the morning. No, no, no. So you guys can see yourself to as early as tomorrow morning, okay? I'd like to thank Mr. Allen and him for coming out and filming today. So would you guys please help me say thank you? So please help me welcome this lovely lady that worked so hard keeping music alive. Thank you, Mrs. Brady. The Isbell Chorus is a bunch of 30 children, over 30 children this year, who meet every morning at 7 o'clock. And our, our goal is this year to promote peace through music. And so um, and they're over there fighting right now, but... Um, when the, yes, Frankie has the drum now, so everything's okay. We're going to do a few more numbers after the, the um, art announcements. And we just thank, thank you so much for coming out today. And, and thank you for thinking about spreading peace.
This next song is the theme of today. It's called Fighting is Not the Solution. Try Conflict Resolution. Like this. 
this song to Samantha Frady's son, um, who tried so hard to protect the forest and the streams. The song is called The Rainforest.
Dutch children, my son would truly have loved this. He loved teaching wildlife biologists to kids your age. And I know wherever he is, he's really smiling because he loved the music too. Okay, has everybody got their, no, not their tickets. Now we're going to hear from Marianne Krause, who has picked first, second, and third place winners from Mupu, Olive Land, and Boys and Girls Club. So please welcome Marianne. Good afternoon. First, I'd really like to thank Miss Donna. I didn't realize there were so many songs of peace and reconciliation, and these kids have done just a phenomenal job. I'd also like to recognize the kids for getting there at 7 o'clock, and especially recognize their parents for making sure that they get there at 7 o'clock. Okay, there's some wonderful artwork here, and when you recognize the ages of the children, it's even more amazing how well they've done. There are a lot of wonderful, positive messages about friendship and anti-bullying, so it was pretty hard to make a decision, but I, I tried to pick a few that were representative, and I hope the other kids won't feel too left out. Um, the first place one um, was done by Adri Jenkins. Is Adri here? She's from Mupu School, um, and it it has a no bullying sign on it and lots of colorful messages of uh, positive uh, things to to um, keep track of and and work toward. So that would be first place. The Firefighters Association has provided the gifts. It looks like they're uh, McDonald's gift certificates. Great. So there's one for each of the three top people. Um, the second place, um, this was really tough, but um, I chose the peace symbol that says peace. It's a very simple design. Um, Charlie from third grade at Olive Lands and it's down on this <clears throat> far left board. It's just uh, different colors in the peace symbol. And I chose that one because um, peace is such an important uh, thing, not just in, in schools and among young children, but throughout our world today. And so that's a very enduring symbol. Is Charlie here? Okay, we'll hang on to it and make sure that his teacher gets it for him and uh, gives it to him. And then the third place one is also from Olive Lands, and it's um, on the, the board, the second from the left, kind of the middle board there, um, and it just says friendship, and it has a rainbow. And those are both really important uh, concepts and images. And that was by Isabella, um, from the fourth grade at Olive Lands. Is Isabella here? No, um, for, okay, so we'll have to keep that for her as well. But uh, please go and check out each of those posters so that, and, and all of the other fine artwork so that um, you can see what the kids have done. It, the positive images and the beautiful artwork are really um, a great symbol of anti-bullying art. Thank you. Okay, I think Donna and them have a couple of more songs for us, but I believe we've got a guest rolling in on wheels from somewhere. Dan, where'd he go? I lost the fire department again, Dad gone. You think I keep up? Oh, oh. I believe there's somebody come here to see the boys and girls. Y'all welcome this fellow when he comes in. Hello, Sparky.
Isabel, is she really love?